uh, just a gut-wrenching loss Saturday, uh, you know, for our guys to hang in there and play the way they did, give us a chance there in, uh, uh, you know, to win in Statesboro, which is a tough place to play, and just uh, couldn't make enough plays there at the end. They made more, one more than us and, and thought our guys, you know, played extremely hard and, and, and laid it out there on the line, just not quite – uh, good enough when we needed to make a play there in triple overtime. But uh, thankfully, we got a, a week, an open week this week to, um, you know, to work on some things that we, we we can try to get better at and 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 get over the loss and and hopefully be better when we come back for homecoming. So uh, tough one, but we'll we'll continue to move forward and and uh, and hopefully get better as a team. All right, thank you, Coach. Our first questions come from Alan Blondin with the Sun News. Please go ahead, Alan. Yeah, Coach, um, I just wanted to get a clarification on one thing. Um, I'm assuming you don't lose Harrell and Tekel Holmes for the first half based on the rejections? You know, I don't I don't know the details of that. I don't believe so, but I, I, would, I would have to ask the officiating to, to confirm. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, as you go into the bye week, uh, I'm sure you're going to assess the team. It, um is there any chance that uh, Stephen Bedoski is, is going to get back? It, it looks like your offensive line could probably use uh, some more experience there. Um, he's still up in the air. Uh, he's he's been uh, he's been in a boot for the last six weeks, five weeks. So uh, we're hoping to get that off relatively soon. I, I think uh, it, I'd love for it to get him back. Obviously, he'd be a big a big uh, help to us. Uh, thing with him, he's been off for a long time, so I don't know even if he if he gets to the point where he might be able to start practice and how long does it take for him to get back in shape, et cetera, to be able to play a complete game. So that's what we're battling right now a little bit. Okay, and um, with that being said, also has the has the offensive line become a bit of an area of concern um, with a lot of penalties? You've got a an undersized freshman starting to tackle. Is that uh, and, and you know, just watching the game last week, there was, um, you know, Bryce was under a lot of pressure and, and, and there weren't exactly a lot of holes. Has that become an area of concern? And it, how difficult is it to have to keep moving people around on that line to try to get some continuity? Well, you know, penalties are a concern, period, no matter who's who's uh, making them. And, and the ones that you're that frustrate you, Alan, are the, the false starts. Some of those, we, we had some of those there that were, were – hurt us and hurt us in situations that maybe we'd get a first down on. Um, I think, you know, from a depth standpoint, offensive line was always a concern from preseason, you know, from going through there with the losses we had and then with injuries on top of that. Um, but, uh, you know, Georgia Southern's really good in the box, too. They're, they're pretty good up front. They've got a good defense. So, uh, I don't know if we had everybody, if we'd have had great holes because they're good, they're, they do a good job on defense uh, and our guys battled. But, it, it's been a concern. We we uh, we're playing some guys that uh, maybe aren't quite ready to play, but they have to. But at the end of the day, everybody else is doing that too. So we got to find ways to to uh, make some make some holes and give our quarterback some time to throw. But they're battling right now. But there's some things that we definitely have to improve uh, at that position if we're going to try to win some games in this league. And uh, just looking at the quarterback position, um, you know, you've, you've alternated the quarterbacks a lot, so it's. Even being a starter isn't necessarily, you know, doesn't necessarily mean you're getting a lot more playing time than the other guy. Did, but did Bryce uh, do anything this past week to uh, maybe elevate himself in that level and possibly earn more playing time? You know, I thought I thought he competed really hard uh, considering the conditions. He took some shots uh, Saturday uh, and got back up and kept fighting. So, I mean, I thought he did a great job. There's some things that, you know, he needs to improve, but – uh, considering the circumstances, situation, I thought he did a nice job to continue to, you know, play more and, and earn more of a bigger role. All right. And last thing for me, just uh, with the weather conditions, as you look at the tape, is it are you going to be able to uh, assess a lot of things on that last game, or uh, is the weather conditions going to kind of uh, hamper that? Well, uh, I thought our dancing was pretty solid. Um, you know, I thought we got pretty good there in the fourth quarter, so that's something that we we observed, and I thought our guys did a good job there. Um, besides yeah. that, besides that, I mean, you can see certain things. Um, it's not like our footing was bad or anything of that nature. So, um, you know, the thing is, it was tough to throw certain times, you know, because of how heavy the rain was, and, and so that's that's always a challenge. But 
uh, you're able to observe and, and see anything you need to, you know, what we got to try to fix and, and what we got to try to improve. And, um, there's a lot there we have to do if we're going to win some games. There's a lot we got to get better at.